Joined by Cheryl Pounder. Cheryl, the Jets host the Oilers tonight. Winnipeg, number two in the league in defense. Edmonton, fourth offensively. So that got us to thinking. Headed into the playoffs, if you could pick just one, which would you rather have? The Jets' defensive prowess or the Oilers' offensive output? Gino, this is such a difficult question, especially when you're talking about the likes of Connor McDavid, who is going to hit the 100 assists marker point. I mean, he's going to join the likes of Gretzky or Lemieux. And guess what? I'm still going to take the defense because <laughs> why? I was a defender. And when I look at defense, I look at pushing to the outside, right? And when you're second in the league in goals against, you know that's a great metric to have. But this is a team in the Oilers that will throw pucks to the net. They lead the league in shots. They're going to look to get to the inside. So you know that you not only have to defend hard and connect it, but you have to have goaltending. And guess what? They do. Connor Hellebuck, 920 save percentage. And you know this is a guy that is a candidate for the Vesna. So I believe from the 4 by 6 out and the way they're connected line one through fine four i am going with the jets who to see this coming a former blue liner picking the d as being more important than the <laughs> offense all right let's get to tonight's game in particular both teams come in on losing streaks the jets have lost three straight the oilers uh, they've fallen to third in the central the oilers have lost two in a row and are now clinging to home ice by just one point who needs this one more tonight the oilers or the jets I'm going to go back to the Jets on this one, Gino. I mean, when you look at this team, they want to get to the top of the Central, and they're sitting at 93 points. So they're just four points back of both Dallas and Colorado. But they're on a three-game losing streak, right? Five wins, five losses in their last 10 games. So this is a group that kind of has to sort it out. You talk about that goals against number. Well, it's been elevating over the last three games where they've given up those 13 goals. So a bonus team, you know that they love their structure defensively. I think that they haven't been as consistent as they want to be they got to get back at it if they want to climb to the top of the central as for which team's got the best chance long term you got to like the Oilers since Chris Knobloch took over behind the bench no team has a better record in the entire NHL than the Edmonton Oilers the 39 14 and 3 since the change